Kurt Schuker recently courted controversy after taking to Twitter to make a supposedly racist comment about the Senegal World Cup team. In a tweet, Lord Sugar said he recognized some of these guys from the beach at Marbella and posted a picture of the team in a collage with handbags and sunglasses. The tweet, seeming to compare the Senegal national team to counterfeit product sellers, was later deleted. He said, it was in no way intended to cause offense, and clearly my attempt at humor has backfired. Despite having deleted his comments, Lord Sugar earlier defended his tweet. He claimed his tweet was funny and was interpreted in the wrong way as offensive by a few people. He added, Frankly I can't see that, I think it's funny. But I will pull it down if you insist. The controversy prompted comment from the BBC, who tweeted, Lord Sugar has acknowledged this was a seriously misjudged tweet. It's right he's apologized unreservedly and he's in no doubt about our view on this. Osasu Obeyuana, British Nigerian BBC World Football Show commentator, was quick to comment on the situation. He said, his comments won't be forgotten easily because of what he said and his stature in British society. A genuine apology should certainly be accepted. But he also needs to understand why what he said was racist and wrong. Hurt feelings shouldn't be disrespected. However, the businessman was defended by Good Morning Britain presenter Piers Morgan, who said, he can be a half-wit of biblical proportions, and prone to terrible jokes as we saw today. But he's not a racist. This isn't the first time Lord Sugar has come under fire from the public after tweeting racist content. In 2013, he was investigated by police following another allegedly racist tweet where he shared a photo of a child. Referring to the child, the tweet read, The kid in the middle is upset because he was told off for leaving the production line of the iPhone 5. No action was taken against Lord Sugar as a result of the tweet. Lord Sugar has since tweeted out a promotion for a new business partner, which has drawn critics following his recent outburst. Disapproving Twitter users have flocked to the site, with one claiming they won't buy sweets from a racist. Sugar is estimated to be worth £1.15 billion and is 95th most rich person residing in the UK. He was formerly a member of and large donor to the Labour Party until 2015.